Hi, I'm Nathan Ritter from CardioGage.com. I'm a cardiologist in New York. Today, I'm going to talk about atorvastatin and whether or not it causes dementia or short-term memory loss. I get a lot of questions and comments about this, and for really good reason, because in 2012, the FDA issued a specific warning about statins and the possibility that they could cause short-term memory loss, confusion, or forgetfulness. This happened because people were experiencing these side effects while they were taking the medication, and they reported them to the FDA. Dementia and short-term memory loss may seem like the same thing, but they're not. Dementia is a long-term problem. It happens over years and years, and it's not reversible. So once you've got dementia, then it's not going to get better. It can only get worse, basically, or stay the same. Short-term memory loss happens over days or weeks, and it's not permanent. It's important to understand that the FDA warning from 2012 isn't about dementia, but it's about short-term effects on brain function of statins. The first hint that statins could affect brain function came in 1996 when researchers did a study where they were giving people single doses of atorvastatin up to 120 milligrams, which is a really high dose. So they found that one of the 22 people who got the very high dosage of atorvastatin experienced confusion. Uh, this was temporary. Statins became extremely popular over the next decade from 2000 to 2010, at which point up to almost one-third of American adults over the age of 40 were prescribed a statin. So with all these millions of people taking statins, many people experienced side effects and reported them to the FDA. An important study of the reported side effects was done in 2014. The researchers estimated that 0.1 to 1% of people taking a statin could have short-term problem with brain function. People taking simvastatin and atorvastatin were found to have about twice the risk of reporting a cognitive side effect than the controls, while pravastatin and rosuvastatin did not have increased chance of a cognitive problem. Interestingly, pravastatin and rosuvastatin are hydrophilic, meaning they dissolve in water easily, whereas simvastatin and atorvastatin are lipophilic, meaning they dissolve in oil more easily than water. Lipophilic substances can have a higher concentration in the brain than hydrophilic ones, so this may explain why simvastatin and atorvastatin were associated with brain dysfunction, whereas the others were not. But exactly how atorvastatin would cause confusion or memory loss isn't known. There are lots of guesses, but nothing conclusive. You will not be surprised to hear that the evidence about all of this stuff is conflicting. A large study done in 2013, which was a review of 11 other studies, did not show any effect over the short term on brain function. In addition, this study showed that statins actually reduced the incidence of dementia over the long term by 29%. Scientists guessed that statins reduced dementia by keeping the arteries to the brain clear of atherosclerotic cholesterol plug up. What I take away from all this is statins do not often cause memory loss or confusion, and they're unproven to cause dementia. The vast majority of people who take a statin won't have any measurable effect on their memory. But the fact remains, there are many people out there who are quite sure that statins have affected them in this way, and it's entirely plausible based on the existing research. This is how I deal with it in my practice. When I start somebody on a statin, I tell them they're is about a one in five chance of muscle aches because this is by far the most common side effect. And I asked the person to let me know if any other side effects occur. In my experience, about one in 200 people who start a statin will have some effect on their memory or confusion. I had a patient who got amnesia with the medication. Um, so it's pretty infrequent. When I have a patient who experiences this side effect, we stop the medicine and see what happens. Occasionally, if the patient really needs a statin because they had a recent heart attack or stroke, I might try a different statin. Uh, that would typically be rosuvastatin because it's lipophilic and less likely to affect memory. Uh, I would use a low dose in that instance, and if the side effects recurred, then we would be forced to look at other ways to decrease chance of stroke and heart attack. As always, hit like and subscribe. It helps to get the feedback. And if you have any questions or comments about this important topic, please post them below.